I ain't fooling around with no brim today. We're going for catfish. Busting out the Black Warrior lures, uh, Catman hooks. I hooked into something big here that last week or a couple weeks ago and lost it because I was fishing for brim and hooked something big. I'm not messing around today. Now, these hooks aren't the biggest. They're only four circle hooks, but they're 4X strong, so they're really good for set lines and things like that. Nothing. I'm trying something new. I'm putting 20 pound monofilament here for a leader and I've been trying various hook sizes and varying baits and, and the bluegill have actually been biting with this 20 pound line. I haven't been able to land them because it's, it's just too stiff so what I'm going to do, not, I'm telling you I always catch more of every other kind of fish when I gear down and target bluegill so that's what we're going to do, go back to what's known. Haven't had any hits on the cut bait, had a ton of hits on the black soldier flies so we're going to stick with that. We're going to tie a loop here at the end of this 20 pound line, because I have my furled leader here, shock leader thing you hear me talking about all the time. And we're just gonna put a short piece of eight pound test line and we're gonna just pull this drift. In the summer times I pull sh typically shorter drifts, a few areas, and then just thoroughly drift those and troll those areas. Bluegill's still bedding. I mean, she's very pregnant. <laughs> when I put the fly and the live bait together, I, I catch them far more reliably than either one by themselves. I think it's the third drift of the day. We've gone back to our ant flies on number 10s. And with the number 10s, I only put one black soldier fly. Really, and I didn't bring all that much bait to me because I was really going to just do cut bait with the catfish. If one thing ain't working, try something else. And so, one black soldier fly on an amp fly, and that's crystal flash, and that was tying with some of my mom's feathers. What we'll do is get on our oars here. Oop. Oh, come on. Yeah. I'm not gonna fight the wind. And we're gonna let out two colors of lead core lines, all we've been running. There's the transition, right? Here, the purple down to orange means the, the new color touches the water, right? I started on that bank, then I did the, the middle of the river, and now we're over on toward this bank. Yep, we're already getting hit. And sometimes you'll just do all kinds of little things like, you know, pull it like that to, yeah, we're getting a hit. Somebody's home already, so I think he's on there, actually. And I think he's just small. Yeah, he's on there, but he is small. We're letting her go back, man. Yeah, well, well, and yeah, we'll go ahead and keep her. And then usually after I catch a fish, I'll dip this thing back down into my fish oil or whatever. Just throw it back out there and get right back at it. Oh yeah, I'm smelling bluegill right here. Yeah, another male here. That's a different fish. I'm not sure what I've never seen that. See how that's separate there? It's like a different species. Alright, Crystal Flash. Crystal Flash. Yeah, not bad. That's shallow right here. It's only maybe. You could six feet deep maybe. A lot of catfish may come up here to catch shad and stuff. A lot of bass fish will catch shad and use live shad to catch big spotted bass in this water too. Yeah, no catfish. <laughs> so we just went back to bluegill fishing. <laughs> New moon will be here on the 20, I don't know, somewhere between the 20th and the 24th. And new moon's the best. 
the full moon's the second best. Uh, so we're back at it, you know, same old pattern. It just works, man. I was surprised to find that the amp fly, that no, a number, I, I recent, I used to run number ten hooks all the time, but I recently switched to bumped it up to number eights. And I was running plain number eights with a bunch of bait on it, like uh, getting a lot of bites but not a lot of hookups. Back to the number ten amp fly, and only put a single black soldier fly uh, maggot on there. And there's one type of sport fish I, that really closely matches what I'm done. It's called match fishing. It's what they do overseas where they're either catching to catch the greatest number of fish in a set amount of time, maybe a four hour is the match, or they're catching the greatest number, the greatest pounds of fish within that same set. Bank on pegs like this and and, and they're chumming up the water and they're doing all kinds of stuff, but the number one thing they use is they use maggots, they use light line, and they use small hooks. Basically what I'm doing here is just that I'm doing it with a hand line and I'm not restricted to only fishing here off one peg. I can fish the whole river if I want. I generally catch more catfish by focusing on bluegill than, than I do dedicated catfishing. That's why I'm a believer in generalized gear. Give me the Give me the line, the hook, and the bait that's going to catch the greatest variety of fish, and I'm going to generally catch more fish than I had than if I had dedicated, specialized equipment just for that one fish and, and all that. You know, I'm headed to the house, get some grub. Guess I'll eat fish. <laughs> See ya.